Hi, Joe Alton, MD here, also known as Dr. Bones of the survival medicine website, doomandbloom.net. The COVID-19 pandemic is spreading to scores of countries in all continents except for Antarctica. Yes, I said the word pandemic, and I said it not to instill panic in you or anything like that, but perhaps maybe a little more vigilance and maybe to instill encouragement for a plan of action. Unlike some World Health Organization health officials, I believe that people are more likely to prepare for a storm when they're shown the black clouds on the horizon. In the U.S., the number of cases and locations affected are increasing with several deaths already being reported. With local human-to-human transmission the most likely cause for some of these, it's only a matter of time before a country as large as ours will see hundreds or even thousands of cases. We should be prepared for it. Well-meaning government efforts to ban travel, that's great. It's likely to slow down the timeline of the disease in the U.S., but I don't believe that it will prevent eventual outbreaks in multiple areas. There are certainly many reasons to be concerned. COVID-19 has a severe form that causes pneumonia and worse in about one in five or six patients. Seasonal influenza is rarely deadly, but COVID-19 kills about 3% of the time. This percentage is probably similar to the death rate seen during the Spanish flu pandemic of 1918-1919. COVID-19 is very contagious, and our current tests have not proven to be 100% accurate in identifying it. The U.S. has improved its isolation protocols for contagious disease in the last few years, but the general public is not as aware of ways you can prevent becoming infected. Underdeveloped nations may not have the medical infrastructure to handle large numbers of people who might need respiratory support. That's some of the bad news, but there is good as well. The 3% death rate may be too high with many countries either unwilling or unable to obtain accurate statistics i believe that there are hundreds of thousands more cases out there that are only mildly infected didn't seek medical care and recovered asymptomatic and unaware that they have the virus at all unreported by the nation's government or sick but the nation lacks testing capability one example of the last thing is North Korea, which shares a border with China. You haven't heard of one case there. COVID-19 is probably running rampant throughout the country right now, but it is not being counted. The numbers from certain other countries like Iran are likely underreported as well. Add them to the numbers and the death rate drops, perhaps significantly. Another bit of good news is that China's hot zone seems to be reporting lower numbers of new cases. That could mean that the disease is taking its course in that country and is now on the far end of the bell curve. If China's outbreak could wax and then wane in just two months, maybe other countries will do so in turn. It's also important to remember that influenza's millions of cases this year are still far greater than the numbers for COVID-19. This is Joe Alton, MD, that old Dr. Bones, wishing you the best of health in good times or bad. Thanks for watching.